Hey, hey, shalom and welcome to the Karma Kapash from GMS Lulun, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Hadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and shalom out there to the whole Fulex, pushing the truth in all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video. I didn't title this one, um, Esau can only run for so long, right? Because um, Esau, you know, he's trying, he's trying to avoid judgment. He thinks he can upset the most size, um, his will, his order, right? And that he can obtain it for himself an everlasting kingdom by his own carnal means, right? He's not trying to get judged out here, <laughs> right? But the, the funny thing is, everything that he's doing is going to cause him to be judged, right? Esau is playing exactly into the Heavenly Father's hands because that's the, what the Mosai made him to do. Right to 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 act on this 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 folly that is in his mind, that he can somehow um, separate himself from the power and will of the heavenly Father. Right, it's it's vanity, but he so believes he can, and so he keeps on running and keeps on, you know, plotting and scheming to try and, um, you know, um, make himself outside the Most High's power. Okay, which can't be done. Right, so he, he he's running, right, but. He can only run so far, right? Because his his time's running out. His judgment is, is is fast approaching upon him, right? And he can't avoid it. All right. So I'm just gonna get into some of this, right? So I'm gonna start here in Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. So therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, for woe well unto the habits of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, okay, who is Esau, right, in the in the physical manifestation here upon the earth, right. Um. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Right? Any spirit, he knows he's, he's running short of time. Right? The prophecies are are fulfilling themselves around him. The prophets are out there on the highways and byways, teach you know, teaching this truth and prophesying against him. Right? The world is is falling to shit. He knows he don't has he doesn't have much time left. Right? Yahweh Shai is on his way. Okay, and he needs to get shit set up before that happens. Right. But like I said, he's running to his own destruction. He doesn't he doesn't see it, right? Because he's an idiot. Right? He's a fool. Most I mean to be a fool. Right. And so everything that he's doing is is really accelerating, you know, himself to his own destruction. Right? But he knows he's short of time. Right? Because he's only been given a lot amount of time to rule upon the earth. Right? <clears throat> and this is the spirit that he comes in. He he is uh, you know. Esau is the spiritual successor of Cain, right? Esau or Edom is like a, a, a nation full of Cains, right? With this, this, this mentality, this mindset, especially of the elite, right? And Cain was cursed, just, just like Esau is, right? Cain, Cain came back as, as, as Esau, right? And um, this is what was said to Cain after he killed his brother Abel, Right? Verse 12, so Genesis 4 and 12, <clears throat> says, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Right? A fugitive is, is, is somebody that's always on the run. Okay, running from judgment. Right? He's running, he's running, he's running. Right? Hoping that he doesn't get caught. Right? So Esau's doing what he's doing in the hopes that he can upset the Heavenly Father and that he can't catch him. That he can't bring about his judgment upon him. That's what he's hoping. And that's what he that's what he believes he can achieve or do. Right? But he's a fugitive on the run. Right? Because he knows he was, he's destined for destruction. He knows it. He knows it in his soul. <laughs> right? That the Mosai hates him. And he wants to get rid of him. Alright? So a fugitive is he. Okay? But like I said, you know, you can run... But you can't hide. You can't hide from the Holy Father. He knows exactly where you are, what you're doing. There's, there's no way, you know, of avoiding him. Right? Adam, Adam and Eve tried to do that when once they once they you know they were ashamed, right? After they um learned of, of the other doctrines of philosophies. Uh, let me grab that. It's Genesis 3, verse 8, right? They tried to hide, right? Because they felt ashamed. Uh Genesis 3 and 8. Um let me read from Let 
Let me read from seven, right? It says, and the eyes of, of them both, who's Adam and Eve, right, were opened, and they knew that they were naked, right? So they'd become ashamed. Because they knew they, they did what they wasn't supposed to do. Okay, which was to basically um, you know, take in these other philosophies that were around them from these other other people, right? And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves uh, aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves, right? So they hid from the presence of the Lord. The Lord God among the trees of the garden, right? So they hid among the trees of the garden, right? And the trees of the garden represents the nations, the peoples that are, that are around about them, right? They hid themselves among them. And Esau has done the same thing. Esau has done so much to disassociate himself from being the, the Edomite or being the Edomite, right? He's gone and assimilated himself into all these different cultures, different nations, right? And, you know, he's hidden his history fairly well, right? By conquering different nations and taking on their names, taking their lands, taking on their customs, you know, taking on uh, their appearances, right? They, you know, like their clothing and stuff like that. You know, they've done all this to really hide, to, to try and escape the Heavenly Father that he won't, that he won't recognize them. <laughs> that no one will know who he is because he's he's mixed himself with the, with the people, and and given himself different names and whatever. Right? He's done all this, man. You know, he, he's on a common level. He's intelligent. He's smart. If he if, if he wasn't so fucking stupid that <laughs> that it's not possible to deceive the heavenly father. You know, so he, he you know he he himself he sort of hid himself amongst the the peoples of earth. And, and the, these people on the planet right now don't really know who Esau is. We do. Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem and Hashem, we, we've been given that understanding. And we see him for what he is and who he is, right? But these people don't know who Esau is, really. We're having to tell them and they, they don't want to believe it. You know, but Esau's going around the whole earth, you know, taking lands and, and changing names and, you know, taking on cultures and all kinds of stuff just to disguise himself, man. Right? Trying to hide. From everybody Okay but The Most High sees you man Yahweh Yahweh sees you <laughs> Plain as day Right So again Adam and Eve tried to do this right They said And Adam and his wife Hid themselves From the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden And the Lord God called unto Adam And said unto him Where art thou And he said I heard thy voice in the garden And I was afraid And because I was naked And, did, and hid myself right The Most High called them out <laughs> That's how Where are you and then they get to come out, man. You know, you can't hide from the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father's eyes is everywhere. And the Lord's side knows. He asked the question, but he knew where he was. You know? Even that, even like that, like that something as simple as, simple as that is like a little test. Are you going to lie? <laughs> are you, are you going to pretend you're not, you don't hear him? You know, Adam heard him. I, I can't say no, I didn't hear him. You know? The most side sees everything, man. Okay, which I'm going to get to. Right, so Esau can't hide. Esau can't run, he can't hide. Right? He's doing everything the Mosai wants him to do. Right? Because this is his part of his um his will. This is part of Esau's lot to, to fulfill. To end up being destroyed. For being the wicked. Right? Um, I don't think I added this to that, actually. Let me find that. Um, him will let, I think. Oh, Tony. Mm. This might be difficult to find. So we only in it. No. Basically, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find it. Basically, the most is letting him. Okay, the most is, is the one that's letting him do the things that he's doing. Right? I wouldn't like to see it. I'm not even sure where it is. Hmm. 
don't seem to be able to find it. Anyway, let's move on, right? But yeah, basically, the Most High is merely letting him do what he's doing currently, right? Esau's not doing anything the Most High doesn't want him to do. And that's why ultimately he's going to fulfill the Heavenly Father's will regardless, all right? But we're back on, on this point here. Like I said, you know, he's tried to um, disguise himself, hide himself in the earth by taking different lands. So he don't reside in the land of Edom. He doesn't re reside in his own inheritance because that was the land that was the Most High gave him. Right? He's left there and gone around the earth to conquer, to take, right? To basically hide himself among the trees of the earth, of the garden, right? So Micah 2 and 2 says this. It says, and, and they covet fields, okay? And take them by violence, right? So like I said, going around conquering the earth, stealing from everybody, taking everyone as, take everybody's uh, heritage from them. Right, it says, and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Okay, he starts taking these titles upon himself, and the, the worst case of it is him calling himself, you know, well, he, well, he calls himself um, J double O. Right, but basically, he's, he's posting himself up to be the Israelites when he's not, thinking that he, like he's going to deceive, <laughs> well, he deceived the world, these people on, on, on the planet, but he ain't deceiving them any far. He knows that that's not his people. <laughs> Doesn't matter what what uh what, what you start calling yourself, right? You know, talk about following the Torah. The Most High knows who you are. You're not His people. He knows that, right? You're just fooling everybody else on the planet. But not His elect. We know exactly who you are. You know you're not the chosen people. You know, but He's done this multiple times throughout history. You know, you know, like becoming the Greeks. He wasn't. He, he wasn't the original Greeks. The Japhetic people were, 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 were the original Greeks, Yavan, right? Well, obviously, he took them down and, you know, then he started calling himself Greeks. You know, he's been doing this for a long time, man, and thinking that he's slick. <laughs> that he's going to, you know, confuse the Most High. You know, the Most High knows exactly who you, who, who you are, where you are, what you're doing. All right? This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, right? So, like I mentioned, he's, he doesn't dwell in his land, you know, where you can say, Oh, that's where the Edomites live. No, he's not there no more. He all over the earth, he spread himself out in the four corners of the earth, man, you know, acting like he like, like he owns the, like he owns the planet, <laughs> like he owns all these lands, you know. He's a South African, he's in Africa, you know what I mean? He's in Australia, you know, he's in Britain. He in America, you know, he ain't in South America. He in all, all these fucking places, man. But he don't originate from none of these places. So what the fuck's he doing there? Hiding. Right? And like I said, he will deny that he's an Edomite to, to the death. <laughs> you know, and most people don't even know the Edomites. You know what I mean? So they you know, it's like, what are you talking about? No, I'm American. No, you're an Edomite. But he's kind of made that like that name kind of be erased from the earth almost. Like the, the original names of these nations, he's kind of made them disappear in a way. Only a few nations got kind of like, um, you might see them address themselves with their ancient biblical names. You know, most of them are gone though. Right, but the most I made these people, and then they can't change who they are, no matter what fucking term they put upon themselves or you know, whatever name they are, who they are, they are who the most I made them to be. So, these nations, you know, these biblical nations haven't gone away, they, they're here, they're here, okay, and they all got their own allotted destinies and fates assigned to them, right? He saw just, um. <laughs> yeah, luck. <laughs> he drew, he drew the, short, the, the, the short straw, you know. So, um, so yeah. Also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it for home, who large of his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations, and heap unto him all people. Right. So, like, so he he covers himself around all these different nations, man, thinking that he's hiding himself. And not only does he want to rule over all these people, but in the way he, uh, you know, he assimilates amongst them, you know, especially when gaining power over these nations. That's what he does. 
you know, gets up into these higher places, he marries into into prominent families and whatever. You know, that's how he's become the, the you know, the kings and, and queens of Europe. By marrying in, into into noble families. You know? Women that <laughs> women that, you know, uh 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 that was sitting on the throne and needed a husband, the men to slide up there and get into power. That's how they got the British throne. You know, and most likely the other ones, you know. So that's what they've done. Um, I've read that already, right? Uh, Isaiah 29 verse 15 says, Well unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, right? So, and this is another thing that they do. They, they think... That by doing these wicked ass deeds, these these plans, and, and you know they sacrifice their witchcrafts in dark places, you know underground, and you know out of the sight of men, right? That they that, that is out of the sight of the heavenly Father. <laughs> Most I see is everything, everywhere, right? There is no place you could go on this planet that the Most I can't see you and hear you. You know, you got angels on the job. Right, just because you hide out of the sight of men, you know, you do you do things behind closed doors in the in the night, you know, underground and all these different places. It doesn't mean the most the most I ain't seen it. It don't mean, you know, it's like <laughs> you know, like when you were a kid, right? Like I mean I mean like real young. <laughs> like real, real young, right? <laughs> and and you and you <laughs> you put your hands over your eyes, right? And because you can't see them, <laughs> you think they can't see you. <laughs> That's what that's that's like what Esau's doing, man. You know, just because you can't see him, you think you think he can't see you. You know, but the most I see is it. You know, you think you're getting getting away. You ain't getting away. The most I record everything that you do. Right. So yeah, woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. They say, "Who seeth us?" <laughs> they think they're slick, and who knoweth us? Right, surely the, your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a pot of clay. For, for shall the work of, of sorry, for shall the work say of him that made it, he may be not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. All right, so the most I sees everything, man. Okay, you, you ain't hiding nothing. You ain't hiding. You ain't hiding your works. In Sirach twenty three verse nineteen says, "Such a man only feareth the eyes of men." And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. You know what's going on inside your mind, <laughs> you know, everything, man. Your thoughts, the most high is all up in there, man. He knows exactly what's going on, what you're thinking. There's nothing hidden from the Heavenly Father, man. Right, so everything that you've been doing up until this point is really vanity. Okay, you've just been on... A puppet on a long string, thinking that you have you have some sort of uh, free will and can manifest your own destiny. It's that's not that's not what's gonna happen, man. The string's gonna get cut. It's Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse twenty. It says, "Curse not the king, no, not in thy fort." Right. So again, the most I know is man's thoughts, right? And curse not the rich in in the in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which have wings shall tell the matter, right? So, like I mentioned about the previous scripture, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, right? He's got angels out there who is observing and recording all things. Same with anything that you're thinking or, or, or what you're saying. It's being recorded and being taken back to the Heavenly Father, man. The angels are like extensions of the Heavenly Father. They're just everywhere in the earth, hearing and seeing things. Most high instant uplink, <laughs> you know, instant data transfer. Most high knows, right? So that which I bring you, so I told them out, right? They're all telling on you, man. <laughs> you know? This is Ezekiel 35, verse 12 says, And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. And that I have heard all thy blasphemies, right? So the Most has heard them all, right? He's heard it all, right? Which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying it, they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume, right? Because you become proud, 
that you've been able to do this, thinking that you're you that you, you know that you somehow was the reason for it, that you that you great somehow, you know, or that Satan is 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 working so well with you that you know you think you can up, upset the most you know most high's will, you know. So he's heard your your boasting, he's heard all your foul speech, and he's you know he's witnessed all the all the the, the depravity that you know. All the acts how you treated us, man, why you've had us in captivity. Alright? So it goes on to say, verse 13, thus with your mouth you have boasted against me. Right? Boasting against his children is like boasting against the Heavenly Father. Right? So and I, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Okay, the Lord Most High has heard them. Thus says Lord God Yahweh, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. And thou as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance, inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me, even even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. All right, so that's what the Most High got ready and waiting for you. All right, you can't say that you didn't didn't say or didn't do or didn't think all these things that you've done. You know. Ephesians 6 verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right? These men are all in the in the in the darkness, man, in the dark with their shady ordeals, man. You know, with their plans of, of, of enslaving the earth, you know, and, and increasing wickedness on the earth, man. They're all in the dark doing this. But what, what you do in the dark, man, the most high sees very clearly. You know, this is, um against spiritual wickedness in higher places, right? That's who we're dealing with, man. And we'll be, we might not be able to see him because we're not there with them, right? We don't get, we're not, uh, you know, <laughs> Alex Jones breaking into the Bahamian Grove and, you know, making recordings or whatever, right? That's not us, man. We ain't got to do all of that, right? The Mosai had these things be reported to us, right? But the Mosai, you know, like I said, he he, he sees and, and, and hears all these things. Right? And for the spirit, we gain understanding from these things, right? Verse, uh, sorry, Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fall in the way first. And that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? This man of perdition, the son of perdition is Esau, right? So Esau, you know, he's thought, he, he's thought that he's kept all this... All these secrets, well kept, right? Of, he, of his identity, and you know, he thought, you know, everything that he's done is, is, you know, left the maze, and no one can work at the maze. No one can really get like who he is. He thinks he's incognito, but he's not, right? He's being revealed even even now, right, through the prophets, right? The Most High had the men of the Lord break it down. And reading through the spirit, through the scriptures, the scriptures lays lays them out bare. Pause, <laughs> right? Lays them out, man, out and open for us to see. He can't he can't hide from us. We know who this devil is, man. Right? He might be able to fool the world, the rest of the world, right? But he's not fooling anybody else, right? We know he's this man of sin. All right. So even even in this time, the Most High is having all his hard work be foiled, right? And he's still being revealed. You know, he's done all this madness. It's Joel fourteen and five. So seeing these days are determined, right? Again, he's running out of time, right? So the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, right? So like I mentioned, he he he's running out of time, man. Right, and so he's you know a bit of a bit of a panic. He needs to get all his technology up and running. He needs to get the people to take this um MOTB. All right, so he's working hard towards that man. But he thinks nobody sees him. He thinks, you know, like I say, he's doing it all in darkness. He thinks that no one sees what he's doing or understands what he's doing. But the elect do, and this is why he's not going to be able to. Uh, get the elect with the MOTB and thus fall in his plan because the Lord already needs a remnant 
The Lord's going to save his remnant. Right? He ain't going to get all of Israel chipped or see it. Right? He ain't going to be able to do that. And so the remnant are going to be preserved because the Most High is working with them. Right? And normally this is going to follow his plan. You know, and Yahweh Shai is going to come, come, come and take this kingdom away from him. I want to close out with this. So like I said, everything that he's been doing is he's been doing to his own uh his own detriment. Right? He's fulfilling the, the heavenly father's will on the left hand side for his, you know, uh his particular judgment, particular judgment against Esau, right? So uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 24 says, I have laid a snare for thee, thou art also taken, O Babylon. Thou was not aware, thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. Right, so you thought you was hiding all this time. No, the most has been keeping tabs on you the whole time. Right, he's, he's been having you move in, in a direction where his will is fulfilled. You're going to land yourself in problems, man. You're going to get yourself killed. That's under perdition. Right? So the Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Look, man, he had you build those nuclear weapons for him, man. He made you build the, the same weapons that are going to that, you know are going to be used to destroy you. If only you hadn't, what would the Most High do then? Eh? Yeah. Who knows? But the Most High had you do it. <laughs> this was his plan, right? And that's what that's what that's what manifests, man. The Most High will manifest in this world. All right. I laid a snare for you. Thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware, for thou art found also caught, because thou art striven against the Lord. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord Power Yahweh of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Alright, so I said they're falling straight into the Heavenly Father's hands, man. He saw thought he was slick this whole time. And he was doing the most. And like I said, on a carnal level, yeah, you know, that would be that would be smart, right? Because that would work. That probably would work. But we're not dealing with men. <laughs> It would work in, among men, but the, we're dealing with the Heavenly Father here. The Heavenly Father knows all things. He's a God of knowledge, man. You can't fool him. You're a fool to think that. And that's why the Most High deems you a fool. Because you actually think you can out chess the Most High. Well, you're stupid than you look. <laughs> you're so looking stupid. <laughs> You know, you're, you're stupid, man. And like I said, there's only so much running you could do, man, but you're going to run straight into those missiles. That's where you're running at. You know? So um, I'm going to end it there. A lot of witnesses have been edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers. This is on the next video. So until next time, I say shalom.